Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And we are going to starting with a new series of 30 days of react javascript where we will going to covering each and every topic which are mostly asked in react javascript machine coding rounds or in front end engineering. So the prerequisite of this series is that you should have a basic understanding of react javascript and react hooks. And if you are completely new to my channel, then make sure that you like and subscribe my channel so that you don't miss the awesome videos. So here you can see I have a react component, basically a functional component and we have this URL endpoint and our challenge is to fetch this API URL endpoint and print the data to the console. So, so you can see here I have this URL endpoint and when I hit this API you will get a response and response contain number of users indexing from 0 to 10. So these data to be displayed in the console with the use of react javascript hooks and modern ES6 features of javascript. So let's get started. So first of all we need two things for managing the state and another one is the use effect which will be responsible for side effects means fetching the API response. So first of all we have to create a function which is basically fetch users and it is basically an asynchronous function of javascript ES6 after that we will declare use effect and inside use effect we will call this function which is fetch users and it accept a URL which is this API endpoint so we will pass the API endpoint here and we will accept this URI or URL here in the fetch users. So now error handling in ES6 try catch method. First we will make a variable which is response. So we will wait for fetching the URI. After that we will declare another variable which is data we will convert the response into json now we will print the data to the console and if the api fail we will get the error console dot error error dot message so by doing this and we have to remove this third parameter we don't want this you can see in the console uh, we have a promise pending okay 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 sorry we have to wait for the response to be converted into json now you can see after refreshing the promise will get resolved and we are getting 10 array of users indexing from 0 to 9 so this is something which you can use we have a basic logic for fetching the uri so you can also modify this code to map the data and you can just simply so the users here okay so this is up to you you can modify this code and you can add some more css you can make this ui interactive so this is it so if you like the video make sure to subscribe and we will meet in the next challenge so thank you for watching